Hello guys! In our practice we have a lot of good questions about our equipment. And one of them is how to test it separately from the alternator. Today we will find out our bestseller tester MS-013 COM for voltage regulators works in assembly with the alternator and separately from it. My name is Yaroslav and let's understand how it works. To start, we need to connect the wires which is included in the equipment set to the voltage regulator from BMW1. Their wires are the following. Negative, positive, brushes, field winding, stator simulation and GC wire for control of the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator operates under lean protocol, so in the menu we select the corresponding mode with COM terminal. Some time is required to identify the voltage regulator. Now we see the following information. The protocol type under which the voltage regulator operates and its subtype B1. The ID number they should correspond when replacing data transmission speed of the voltage regulator to the alternator control unit, the set voltage value and the actual voltage value. When the voltage regulator is under operation, the actual value will change when changing the set value. We will check it now. You know that the car value should be above 14-15 volt. The needed value is set and the voltage regulator shows the corresponding voltage. It means that it is under operation. Lower you can see errors field. There electric, mechanical errors and overheating are displayed. In this case we don't have errors. Now we will consider how to test it in assembly with the alternator. Now we will connect tester to the test bench and launch the equipment. Instead of the car drive, we use the drive of our test bench MS004COM. We use 12V Citroen C3 alternator with maximum current load of 80 amperes. This alternator works together with voltage regulator which operates under BSS protocol. It is one more digital protocol for voltage regulator control. We select the same testing mode with COM terminal and we see that this voltage regulator operates under BSS protocol. As far as the alternator doesn't work, we see electric and mechanical failure. Of course, it will disappear when the alternator is started. Also, we can see the ID number and the set voltage of the voltage regulator. I'm launching the alternator. It will show the needed voltage under about 700 revolution, as it is regular for a car. Now we can see that the alternator is launched, errors have disappeared. When I change the set voltage, the actual voltage also changes. When I increase the alternator revolutions, the voltage should remain the same. When we decrease the alternator revolution, the voltage also reduces. Two more points about this tester. It has an integrated PWM generator and oscillograph. Well, it is all I want to tell you about this tester. All information you can find in the link below. Subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.